Hello guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we worked on displaying the work experience form in the bootstrap model. And now in this lecture, we will save the work experience record in the database with the values submitted by users. Okay, so let's do that. First of all, come to the show.html.trb. Okay, so switch to the project directory and open the show.html.trb from app views members. Okay, here where we make the changes in the last lecture. Okay, and there we need to add some DOM ID so that we can manipulate the DOM using the turbo stream. Okay, and here in the work experiences card, here you can see that this is the card that we added for showing the work experiences of, of user. We need to write a condition if user have work experience present or not. Okay, so at the last in the card body, minimize this if condition and here, what we need to do if user has work experiences present. Okay, so at the rate, user sorry if at the rate user dot work experiences not present then we need to go into this element or into this place okay so now if user has work experiences present then we need to uh, display their existing work experiences and also we need to add a dom id here where we can append or prepend the newly created work experiences okay so first add a ul element with class list group okay and here we can add an id and this is the id that we will use to append newly created work experience okay so work experiences or work experience items and close this ul element okay if present then we need to iterate through all the user work experiences okay so here we need to iterate so what we can do we can just copy this at the rate user dot work experiences then use the each iterator here okay and end this iterator and now within this iterator we need to create a partial or we need to render a partial sorry because we will append the newly created experience here and we need a partial for that also this partial will have the same snippet to display the brief of existing work experience so let's write the render text for the partial and then we will create that partial okay so here in this iterator what we need to do we need to render the partial so render it sorry Okay, and we will create this partial into the work experiences directly into the app view. So work experiences slash work experience. Okay, and then work experience as work experience. Okay, here do not confuse that this is the uh, because I repeated work experience multiple times. So this is the partial name. This is the local variable that we will pass to the partial and this is the work experience. Sorry this is the work experience that we are iterating into the loop okay so this is the variable inside the loop and now save this template okay and then we need to create a partial with name work experience so copy this name and create a new partial inside the app views work experiences create a new file here and here paste it dot html dot erb okay and into this partial we need to write our li items that we will uh, display within the ul tag that we created here here you can see that we created this ul element so now we need to create li partials into this element so let's do that li close this li and now we need to provide classes to this li element so class list group item okay and we also need to add i dynamic id to this li item as well why because we need this li items id when we try to remove a work experience or when we try to update a work experience okay so when we remove this will remove the li entry from the dom as well and when we update then it will replace the existing work experience with updated work experience item okay so we you can provide id here like work experience item 
underscore and then provide the dynamic id so we can use let's say at the rate uh, sorry work experience dot id okay and save it now into this li what we need to do we just need to add a row class Dev class row here and Dev class call lg9 and you can create another class with div class call lg3 okay into this call lg3 we will display the link to edit and destroy this work experience okay so now we need to use a flex class in this call lg9 so div sorry div class and here what you can do d flex justify content start and into this div first we will add the users job title or sorry work experiences job title p class and here you can use font weight bold okay and here display work experience dot job title okay and then do not do anything in this call lg3 okay and instead we will display something in here like uh, in the small tag br element here and then replicate this okay and in the small tag we will display the users company and users employment type and location and so on okay so what we can dis display here let's say at the rate work experience dot company okay here we can display work experience dot employment type okay and you can use it again and here we can display the work experience dot location i mean where the employee has worked okay and save the changes now as the last thing we need to implement the create action because it is empty right now okay so here you can see in the app controllers work experiences controller our create action is empty okay so what we need to do here we first need to add the we need to go into this method okay and we can copy this line and now here you can see what we need to do we need to call this work experiences params method okay because when you submit the form our params will come into the work experiences params hash and then all the attribute we will fetch here so we will call this method here edit sorry current user dot work experiences dot new and then work experience params okay and then you need to use responder tag so respond to do format end it and now if user is save sorry if work experience is save okay else and end this now come to the if part sorry if work experience is save then we need to render the uh, updated details into the browser so we can use format dot turbo stream okay and here render turbo stream and then turbo stream dot append okay and here we need to uh, mention the dom id where we want to append our latest record okay and if you know the idea that we can did the similar thing here in the members controller here you can see what we use we use the dom id to replace the content okay now but now uh, since user can have multiple work experience records for him so we need to add work experience line by line so we will use append here okay so add the dom id here so what is what is our dom id that is work experience items
okay and then we need to mention the partial here and what partial we want to use so work experiences work experience slash work experience and mention your locals here okay so this will work when our uh, work experience record saved successfully into the database but we need to handle the else part as well so what happen if uh, work experience uh, is not saved successfully or there are any validation error on the form okay so now let's do that format dot turbo stream okay and here we will render the form now with errors render turbo stream then turbo stream dot replace okay so remote model because now we need to replace the entire form okay and then mention the partial here and the partial will be our shared turbo model and then we need to provide the locals so what locals we need to provide we will not provide the work experience instance as the locals instance we need to provide form partial and model titles as the local okay because now we are rendering this uh, bs model template through our controller request okay so as the form partial form partial and that is work experiences form okay and then model title and here what we need to do add new work experience okay and save the controller so here you can see that we finished the implementation of create action okay so everything has been done now come to the browser and refresh the page so just save the controller and come to the browser here we need to refresh the page and open the form now we need to submit this form okay where uh, we are able to save it or not so first let's uh, submit the empty form without filling any field so that we can see the validation error on the form so now if you click on the save changes let's click on it so here you can see that i click on the save changes and it's replaced the form with errors here so here you can see these are the errors company cannot be blank start date can't be blank job title can't be blank location can't be blank and employment type can't be blank employment type is not a valid employment type why we are getting this not a valid employment type error because we submitted the empty form and it is considering the nil values and we are not allowing the nil values and same for the location type and location attribute as well okay and you can see the uh, request on the terminal as well so here you can see that this is the request that we provided so now we are providing the empty hash now what we need to do we need to try this form by submitting the data from the user side okay so let's switch to the browser again and fill some data here so here you can see let's uh, provide the title as senior full stack developer company let's say precious info system and employment type let's choose let's say full time okay and in the location you can use indoor india and also choose the location type let's say on site and here we need to use the start date so we can choose the start day let's say from january 2020 let's say end it is uh, let's use December 2022 okay so and since we provided both start date and end date so we don't need to use I am currently working here checkbox okay and if you wish you can leave the description empty for uh, or if you wish you can provide some values here let's say I worked here as Stake Rails developer okay, and save it. 
and correct this typo okay now let's submit this form and make some space into the terminal so that we can see whether our record is saved into the database successfully or not okay so now uh, click on the save changes and you will see that the model pop-up has been submitted and our record has been saved into the database okay but uh, we did not see the dynamic refreshment of a uh, dynamic replacement of the item but here you can see the work experience entry here now okay now let's try to create another work experience for example let's say add experience and add the job title let's say senior ruby on rails developer again company let's let's just change the company this time we pro and add it like not self-employed make it uh, full-time and location indoor india and hybrid and choose the start date let's say january 2023 okay choose the date one and put i am currently working here okay so that we can see that if we are not providing intent then it still it will save the record okay and here you can provide i just started here okay and now submit this form so when you submit this form now you can see that the dynamic replacement is working and we can see the next experience here okay and it is also saved into the database here you can see that this is the latest record which is saved into the database so now our create action for work saving the work experiences is working okay and that's all from this lecture now in the next lecture what we will do we will finish the implementation of edit and update action i mean uh, we will display the link to edit and uh, update this uh, experience here okay so whenever user click on that pencil icon it will open the form for editing the current experience which on which he has clicked okay and when he submit he it will update the updated information into the database okay so let's try this lecture at your end and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe